Think that's a good enough intro? All right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. So uh, today, I'm just going to talk about some some computer stuff. When I started, when I started this channel, I wanted to do computer stuff. Uh, that's I, I'm I'm in it. I think it's a great thing. I really want everybody to build their own computer, and I want them to know how to build their own computer. Let's talk about how my app just closed on my tablet so I could read chat without oh anyway okay let's just open that up again I'm not I'm not going to edit this out this is all going in screw it ridiculous update on twitch oh I guess if that's what you want me to do update away all right, well then, um, let's just get to this. Okay, so right now, if you want to buy computer parts, you're looking pretty good for the most part on most stuff. Um, one thing that you are not looking good at at all, should install the update, yes. One thing that you're, that, that's a struggle to get is graphics cards. They are just extremely overpriced. So if you have a perfectly good running computer that is still playing video games pretty well and you are basically happy with what it's doing, then just hold off. Graphics cards will come down in price, um, but everything else is pretty good. Let's do this. Let's talk about, let's talk about something that I think is highly important. So the first thing that you're going to want to know is what are you going to do with your computer? For me, I do production work, so I wanted something that was a bit hefty. So you you just got to figure it out. Like, if you're just going to play video games, then, you know, consider getting, like, an 8-core CPU with 16 threads or a 6-core CPU with 12 threads. And honestly, I would go with whatever is cheapest out there. Right now, if you're going to play video games, to be honest... If you're going to go with the new stuff of from Ryzen, you're going to get, uh, let's scroll down, like this 5600X right here. That's a pretty solid processor. They only want 300 bucks for it. That's pretty solid. Um, and if you really want to, you could go the Intel route. The problem with Intel stuff is it's not highly, it's not as efficient when it comes to just general operation. It's still a beast though. Like, don't get me wrong. Intel stuff is still beastly. If we could, let's see if we can find a, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's, i3, i7. Uh, all right, here we go. So this one's an older CPU. So you got the 10700K and the 1007K, so 10, wow, that's terrible. 10700K F. So all the K means on any of these, and I would go for the record, I would, I, it doesn't matter which one of these you want to go for. So all the K means is that you can overclock it. The F means it doesn't come with um, a onboard graphics. So you can't just slap it in there and use the graphics. And you don't really want to on these anyways. Onboard graphics is pretty bad. Even, even AMD stuff is acceptable but it's not good it's not good it, it'll play a game if you want it to play a game but it's not gonna you're not gonna be wowed you need to get a dedicated gpu and and we will we will get there we will talk about that sheer torture so let's for fun let's just go i'm gonna build a ryzen system because personally i think that they're doing better amd is um sort of objectively and subjectively so if i'm just gonna play video games i'm going with this guy right here i'm gonna go with this 5600x and then i'm gonna slap some you know uh, let's let's go ahead and check out a motherboard let's do uh right now that's the socket is am4 so motherboard we'll just just do that right there and this is all on new egg so that is really cheap so i'm gonna tell you that you kind of want to stay away from motherboards that are super cheap and you don't there's no reason to go with this right here. 
if you're going to build something. So stick in this range, the $130-ish range, and look at your reviews. See, this guy right here, 209 bucks. that's a bit expensive, but 351 reviews, man. That's And, and that's kind of how I base what I'm wanting to build off of right there. You know, what do I want it to do? This one right here, B450 Tomahawk. I've heard great things about these things. This is probably the one that I'd go with. It's not overly expensive. It's, it's, you know, and another thing that you should do is you should figure out, you know, what's the VRM like on this baby? Like, so the VRM is going to be underneath here and right about here. And so what this is, is power delivery to your CPU. And um, so you need to know, is this good? Is the power delivery good? Is the stuff that's keeping the power delivery cold good? You know, you gotta know those things. To be honest with you, I don't know those things off the top of my head. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the nearest trusted youtuber somebody that i would trust and see if they have a video on specific boards um i highly recommend going to watch hardware unboxed they do good motherboard reviews um gamers nexus does pretty good mother motherboard reviews i mean they just do good reviews in general both of these guys do um but i know that hardware and box does more motherboard reviews than I think Gamers Nexus does. So, but I highly recommend both of those YouTube channels if you want to build a system on your own. Um, they have great information, lots of graphs, lots of stuff to go with. So, and if you want, hell, if you want to watch someone build a computer, um, go ahead and watch my video. It's an early video. It's not very good, I'll be honest with you, but it's still there. It's, it'll get you... It'll get your foot in the door. And there's other YouTubers out there, I promise you, who do who have better camera work and better angles than I do, but still, go watch that. Plug that channel. Oh anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna stick with we're gonna do this hundred and uh fourteen dollar MSI motherboard. MSI is a great company, they build good stuff. I'm not sure if that's the best board. I would go and research that before I would honestly commit to buying a board. Because they're all built a little bit different. And you're going to need some RAM. So let's go ahead and look some RAM up. Um, for me, it doesn't really matter if it's Corsair. Or if it's Gigabyte. Or if it's Rip Jaws from G-Skill. Or it, it, as long as you know that it's backed up by a, 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 a good company, then you're great. You're great. Um, right now, the minimum that you really need, if you're going to play video games, is 16 gigabytes of RAM. You don't need to go more than that. That's the minimum, though. Remember that. I wouldn't go lower than 16 ever. So, let's see here. This right here is good. I would say this is okay if you want stupid RGB, which I don't want stupid RGB. So, I personally would go with, uh, see, Ripjaws here. 5,504 reviews. Go for it. The next thing that you need to know is you know how is your system how are you going to overclock your system if you're going to get if you're going to do it then you might as well just go for it and you need to figure you need to figure that you're going to if you're doing Ryzen you need to know how to overclock it and uh you should overclock your ram you should uh, this this right here this DDR4 SD ram um sorry ignore all that crap this this 3200 that's what you want to look at. Like, there's 3200 here. It's the speed of the RAM. For Ryzen, going over 3600 is pointless because you have to you have to match the F clock one to one. Um, so this is DD double data rate. So if you're gonna get 3200, then you need to run your F clock at 1600. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's okay. Just understand that those are high. That's important. Um, let's see. So you got your RAM, you got your CPU, you've got um, a motherboard. You're going to need some sort of uh, hard drive or SSD. So, you know, pick a size. 
Let's go SSD. That's the way to go, in my opinion. Um, let's see here. That's a two terabyte. That's a, that's a here we go. NVMe, NVMe, one terabyte SSD. Perfect. Oh, sorry. M.2. Yeah. Either way. Right there. This is a perfect um, one to go with. It's Samsung. It's got a bunch of reviews on it. And it's easy to go. Most motherboards have this M.2 slot. And it eliminates some wires in your system. Now you can... We can talk about like a case. Um, but I'm going to tell you to find one that you think looks good. And then make sure that it has airflow. That's Those are the two requirements. I don't care if it has a glass side panel or if the panel's covered up. I don't care. But as long as you, air can legitly move from the front of the computer to the back of the computer and out of the computer, you are going to be just fine. It's, it's an aesthetic purpose. I don't care what you spend on it. It's all entirely up to you. So, uh, make sure you get cooling fans for it. You don't need to fill every slot, but you need to make sure that you have, you know, two, three fans up front and a couple of exhaust fans so you can do your stuff. Make sure you get a proper cooler for your... Uh, CPU. I highly recommend if you're a new person um, at building a computer, do not, for the love of God, go with water cooling. Um, AIOs are cool and they're fun and it's nice and, and epic water cooling is fun and nice, but it's, it's going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be overwhelming. There's no reason to do overwhelming stuff, especially if this is your first build. But if you're going to go crazy, then I get it. I get it. Understand it's going to be a pain in the butt, but it's worth it. Um, all right, so let's talk the subject that I don't want to talk about. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make we'll save that subject for last. Now, the next thing that you're going to need is a power supply. You're going to need that. Hell. All right, so I'm going to be pretty clear. Unless you're doing some epic, crazy overclocking, multiple GPU multiple AIO, all sorts of just crazy electronical crap that's going on in there. You really don't need a GPU that's more than 750 watts. In fact, 750 watts is probably overkill for like everybody. It really probably is. But what you need to do is make sure that you go with one that is rated good, gold rating, you just want good ratings, just you know. And so, uh, if you don't know what I'm, so here's my graphics card or my nope, this isn't it. So I have this basically, except I have the 850 watt version of this, and that's because I'm I have a graphics card in there that loves power, and I overclock the snot out of it, and I run it to the at to as high as I can run that baby. And so I got a big the, the nasty version of this guy right here. And in my opinion, you should go modular. You should get a modular power supply to where and modular basically means that. Hold on, we'll just get to the right picture. Uh, this right here, where each one of these plugs you have to plug in. It's that simple. You don't you. It doesn't come pre-stuck on. You're not sitting with a co bunch of cords hanging out like like uh, this guy. It looks like. So this is this is a partially modular set power supply. So you see that there's four, uh, there's there's four pieces right here. So that's your partial modularity, and then this is just a chunk of cords that's coming out of your power supply. So I wouldn't even go that route. I would just try to go fully modular, so you don't got a bunch of cords that you're trying to hide later on after the build's done. Get yourself a good power supply. Look, it has uh, an eighty plus rating and that rating is gold or platinum or sil or gold or platinum i think silver is the one that's just under gold you're gonna do just fine and all the gold all the rating means basically is that it's how efficient the power supply is at delivering the power so pick a power supply you don't need to go more than 750 if you're gonna just run one graphics card and one computer and all that stuff Hell, you probably don't need to... You, a 650 would do 99% of people... 90% of people... The You know, it, it would be just fine for 90% of people. So, I recommend this guy or this guy. 
That's what I got in my system. Love it. Literally love it. Love every second of it. It's great. It's a great, amazing power supply. I have zero complaints. You can even put it in eco mode. Um, but I don't, I did, I built my computer to do work. I don't care about eco mode. So, uh, let, now let's go to the thing that I just don't want to talk about, but I don't want to talk about it for a few reasons, mainly because it, it's insane. We'll just go to graphics cards. So right off the bat, these first seven things that you see here are insane this is insane the prices are absolutely terrible like i am so glad i don't have to buy a graphics card in this uh economy it's crazy and it's crazy for several reasons but you know covid is one of those reasons everybody kind of was like i want to build a computer and so everybody build a computer and then you get the other crazy thing, which is the crypto miners who are just buying these babies as fast as they can. And then you get the next thing, which is the ones that piss me off the most, which is those uh, those guys who buy the graphics card and they immediately go over here to eBay and are like, let me sell you this graphics card for the 6700 XT, which I, th if I remember correctly, is like a $500 or $400 graphics card, uh, for $839. Fuck that guy. Straight up, screw that guy. It's crazy. That is nuts. That is nuts. I guess this is an acceptable price, but the 1650 was, in my opinion, not a very good card to begin with. And then we're going to go down, we're going to find my graphics card. Uh, I found it earlier, which is why I didn't unload this page. And I just want to explain to you what I mean by this problem. So this is my, this is my GPU right here. This is basically what I own, except mine's not gigabyte. Mine's, uh, Sapphire. So this is a used Vega 64. Look at what the starting bid is. This is nuts. That is the starting bid. That is what this guard costs from like brand new from the factory. Really? No, no, do not pay this for this card. It is not, this is not what this card is worth anymore. I don't care. I, even, I just, it's insane to me that this card is even remote. Someone's even trying to sell it for this. And the buy it now price, oh my goodness, holy cow. Holy cow. I would love to just buy, I could buy the cooler for this thing and put the original cooler back on my card. And if I could get it this price for it, I would absolutely go back to using my older card without a, without a doubt. This is crazy to me. Crazy. So, like, look, this 3080 for $1,200. Oh, buy it now for $2,000. You shitting me? Really? I just... I don't know what this video is truly about besides this piss poor state of building a computer. And it's not piss poor for any other reason besides a graphics card. Like... Holy cow. And you know, what really sucks is a few weeks ago, AMD did this nifty little thing where they said that they're going to not support um, a specific older generation of graphics cards, specifically the uh, 3090 30, generation, the, well, the, the R9. They're not going to support the R9s, the R7s, that generation, which is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking, man. It is the worst time to just be like, I'm not going to support this anymore. And so, holy crap. Holy crap. That sucks. And it's a good card. This card right here, specifically. I have one. This is a good card. Heartbreaking, man. This thing is a beast. And to think that... It's not going to get any more updates for new video games. It's, 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 it sucks. 
but at least they're not gouging you on eBay for it. Don't pay more than 100 bucks for one of these cards. It's not it's not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. Oh. Oh, man. It just sucks to see this. It just sucks. 400 bucks a pop is what they want for these 580s here. Crazy. That's crazy. Uh, let's do, um, I don't, I don't even care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's too, it's too much money. It's too much money for this. It's too much damn money, man. Uh, there's no reason why anybody should be paying this for a graphics card. Do not pay scalper fees for graphics cards. And the companies that are trying to screw you because there's limited supply, they can just, I mean, so? Just don't go paying outrageous amounts of money for a graphics card. If you desperately need a graphics card, try to go to, like, in stores, like the box stores. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but there's some places that you can get lucky at. Some. Like here in my city, you could go to Best Buy and you might be able to find yourself a graphics card. Not always, but it's there sometimes. Ugh. I really don't know what this video is about. Um, it feels just like me rambling on about stupid stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to make a video that's way more upbeat than this one. It was just something that has been bugging me for a hot minute. And I really needed to, to, to say something because I feel like there's several people that I know who want to build a system, but are, can't find a graphics card that's in a realistic price range. And don't go out and buy a new AMD graphics card, like the, what is it that just came out, the 6600 XT? And my reasoning for that is because they're charging you more money for us. Uh, the, they're charging you like 10% or, well, here's what they're doing. They're doing one-to-one. -one. So for every percentage, it was better than the previous generation. They're charging you that much more money. And that's not progress. That is stagnation to a T. And they're doing it because they can't. They can get away with it. AMD and NVIDIA and, and whoever the hell else may come out with a graphics card. Intel, if it'll, it may not be any good. But my point is, is it's straight stagnation. They're not going anywhere because they're charging more money for the same thing. That's the problem. That's my problem. And you shouldn't have to look at a graphics card that should cost 300 bucks and see it for $900. That's insane to me. Okay. Okay, I need to stop. I'm going to put this on pause. Because I'm just going to keep ranting about this. It drives me up the wall. Um, and I feel so bad for anybody who absolutely wants to build a system. I'm sorry for you guys because that sucks. You can get all the other components for basically what they should be going for. But that graphics card, man, is costing as much as everything else is all at once. And that is crazy. Man. Okay, well, I am going to go ahead and log and bounce and edit this video. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, guys, I will talk to you in the next one. I will make it absolutely more upbeat, and uh, we will not be talking about computer stuff because that absolutely was a... Man, that's a downer of a video. I am sorry about that. Goodness. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.
Like, comment, subscribe. You know what you gotta do. <laughs> and, uh, yeah.